Hi guys, it's Sinamka4 here with the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. We're going to take a look at how easy it is to root this device and before we get into it, just show you what I'm running by going to menu, settings, the general tab, then down to about device and you can see the model number there ending in N9005. So this is the international Qualcomm quad core version of the Note 3 running Android Jelly Bean 4.3. You can see the baseband version ending in UDMJ7. Before we go any further, I just want to point out that neither myself, Google or Samsung take any responsibility for anything that may go wrong during this process or if you completely brick your handset. Do proceed at your own risk. With that in mind, you'll need to download two things on your computer before we do anything on the handset here. The first one is called Odin. It's a program that we're going to use to flash this device. Secondly, you're going to need the CF auto root file. So the file used to actually root this device courtesy a chain fire as ever that one as well will be down in the description down below next thing that we need to do is enable USB debugging and you can get to it from developer options it's about halfway down put a tick next to it and then accept the prompt then we're done on the phone here so we can shut it down there we go hit power off and it shouldn't take too long to shut down once it's actually shut down what we're going to be doing is pressing the volume down button the power button and the home button simultaneously until it gets to the download mode and it shouldn't take too long. The notification LED is whirring away there, so it won't take too long at all here. There we go, that's now off, so here we go. Volume down, power button and home button simultaneously until it gets into download mode. Here we go, it gives us a warning so we can let go. It says a custom OS can cause critical problems in phone and installed applications. If you want to download a custom OS, press the volume up key, otherwise press volume down. I'm gonna press volume up to continue, and I'll just bring that in a little bit closer so you can see what, what it says on the screen here. You can see Odin mode, product name, obviously international, N9005, current binary, Samsung official. If it was flashed, it would say custom. System status is official. Obviously, again there, it would say custom if it was flashed. Reactivation lock off and a bunch of other warranty information. Incidentally, this will void your warranty. We can now plug in the handset to the computer and notice I'm using a micro USB 2.0 cable because this device is backwards compatible. So just plug that in there. Once connected to your computer, if it automatically starts to install the drivers, then let us do its thing before you continue. If your machine has any problems connecting to your device, then it may be worth uninstalling the drivers, then installing them fresh from the Samsung website, as well as maybe trying a different USB port on your computer, maybe one at the back of the machine. In the top right hand corner of my screen here, you can see I've got two icons. The first one here is Odin, which I've already installed, and we're going to be using this to flash the device. The second one is CF auto root file, which ends in .zip. So this is the file that we're going to use to flash the device with Odin the application. So this is already zipped, so what we need to do is extract it. So I'm going to double click it and it should open up in WinZip. I am going to do one click on zip and it should extract the files to my desktop. Yes, it already does. And notice if you don't already have Odin installed, it's already packaged up within this zip file. Notice this is the file that we need, .tar.md5, it ends in. So if you get anything other than this, you've got some sort of incorrect file. You need to extract the zip file once, so you get to these three files, including the .tar.md5. So what we'll do, just leave that on the screen there a second. Double click on Odin version 1.85. I'm gonna hit run to this, because I'm running Windows 7. There we go. And you can see if I just bring this over a little bit here, while positioning the window a little bit on that side there so you can see a little bit better. If you get a yellow or a blue window, that means Odin is recognizing your device which you've connected, which is a good sign. If you don't get a yellow or a blue box, that means Odin is not picking up your device. So as I mentioned earlier, try a different USB port or uninstall the drivers, then install them fresh again. Leave everything as it is stock. Do not amend anything here. Go straight to the PDA section here. Put a tick next to it, hit the PDA button, then locate the file that we've just extracted on the desktop and there it is CF auto root and what we need to click on is that tar.md file so hit that hit open and that's already populated the path there hit start when you're ready and it should be pretty quick as you can see on the device we've got a green pass on Odin so we can exit out of this and disconnect the device from the computer you can see it already says rebooting in 10 seconds. That didn't take too long to reboot. It says Android is upgrading. So again, we'll just let it do its thing. And we'll swipe in. There 
here we go. Now what we'll do is go to the Play Store and download an application called a Root Checker just to check if the device is actually rooted and I may already have it installed. Yeah, it says I've already got it installed so I'll hit open and here's the moment of truth. We'll hit verify root access. Please wait for root check. Yay, we'll grant it permission. And boom, congratulations, this device has root access. That's how easily you can reach your Samsung Galaxy Note 3 phablet. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video in a lot we saw. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. It doesn't cost you a penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day. And we'll see you next time.